In a previous video, Rashid Garoui, a professor of the SC School at TPFL, discussed the difficulty of algorithmic correctness in systems made of a large number of machines, some of which may crash. In particular, he argued that by considering such distributed systems, we lost the fundamental universality of Turing machines that many software verification methods apply to. So, what can be done for such distributed systems? Well, we, the first step is to understand why we lost this universality ex exactly. And, and distributed computing is a discipline that try to understand, tries to understand why when we put machines together, either because we want them to be more robust or we want them to be faster by putting several processors together, uh, and just try to understand why we lose this universality of, of Turing. So what's the intuition behind this loss of universality? The intuition is that uh, when you deploy an algorithm on a bunch of machines to make the algorithm more robust or faster, the machines do not always agree on the order according to which they should be executing the instructions of the algorithm. And in, again, intuitively, this is because these machines have to communicate either by writing and reading from a shared memory or by exchanging messages. And the delays on these communication usually is not controlled by the designer of the algorithm. In practice, it's impossible to control. And this usually leads to disagreement and therefore to have an algorithm do bad things or at least not obey the original model of Turing. In fact, in the general case, there's a theorem that proves that disagreements between machines cannot be avoided. There is a, a fundamental result in distributed computing established in 85 and saying if you have a bunch of machines that you put together, even if these machines communicate reliably, if we do not control the communication delays, messages arrive but we don't know when, then it's impossible for these machines to reach consensus. Meaning any algorithm that we could think of would have a flow, at least one possibility where the machines would either disagree or would not reach a conclusion. And this actually explains why we lose the universal model of Turing. Mm. I'm not sure I see the connection between agreements and universality so far. The universal model of Alan Turing give, give us a, a simple way of executing algorithms. We know we can execute them as state machines, one instruction after the other. When we deploy the, an algorithm on a set of machines, the motivation is to have this set of machines work as a li one machine. One machine that is more robust than individual machines or faster than individual machines. And therefore, we want this single machine to act as one real machine. And for that, the component of these machines, which is a set of processors or a set of machines, have to agree. They have to agree. We execute instruction one, then instruction two. We reply to client one and then to client two. And this is exactly agreeing. And if they cannot agree, even once every 10 hours, then we have problems. So this shows that agreement, also known as consensus, is necessary to universality. Exactly. So in order to be universal, you have to solve consensus. This is one of the fundamental results of distributed computing. And it turns out that consensus is also sufficient to guarantee universality. This is another important result of distributed computing, which shows that if these machines could have solved consensus, they would be able to model a uh, Turing machine that is more robust and, and more and faster, but they could be able to model a Turing machine. So it is also a sufficient condition. In other words, consensus is key to universality, which explains why the 1985 FLP theorem that proves the impossibility of consensus is truly devastating. It shows the impossibility of universality, which explains why the work on algorithmic correctness of Turing machines cannot be applied, at least not straightforwardly, to distributed systems. Well, one of the primary difficulties is that you have to make decisions based on partial information. In a distributed or concurrent system, uh, no individual party has a completely accurate view of the global state. Instead, everyone sees only part of what's happening and it's necessary to make decisions based on partial information. For the last 20 years, people in distributed computing have been trying to uh, circumvent the impossibility of consensus or find ways uh, to, to not use consensus.